What temperature should I keep my refrigerator and freezer set at? For a refrigerator, if it's cooler, items like milk and meat last a bit longer. However, if I set it close to freezing then some items start showing frost on them. What temperature should I set my refrigerator to for best overall results? Since the person answering is likely to know, I'm also asking what temperature I should set my freezer to. Daniel is spot on with his answer. I'll elaborate on it a bit here. As indicated by his bottled water in the freezer trick, a full freezer is a happy freezer. The same applies to the refrigerator too. While I wouldn't put random bottles of water throughout my refrigerator, it's important to know that the fuller your refrigerator is, the more it holds its temperature when opening, closing, and the less energy you'll use. However, you don't want to jam pack it so full that there isn't any airflow around your stuff, because this can hamper the cooling efficiency as well. The ideal refrigerator temperature is 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.6 degrees Celsius. You're not hugging the danger zone like you would be at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.4 degrees Celsius, and you're distancing yourself sufficiently from 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, that you don't freeze half the stuff in your refrigerator. That said, the temperature within your fridge can vary rather significantly with normal usage. The coldest parts of your refrigerator are the back, and the bottom. The back because the cooling element is there, and the bottom because warm air rises. If items you don't want frosty are getting frosty, then move them away from the back of the fridge. I would avoid putting items in the door of your fridge that are particularly sensitive to spoilage. The items in the door of your fridge can easily get as high as 59 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius, and do so often. Putting milk and eggs in your door will significantly decrease their shelf life. Butter is okay in the little covered section in the door, because the door actually helps keep its temperature a little better. You also generally don't want rock-solid frozen butter. So, put your meats on the bottom shelf in the back, your condiments, mayo, ketchup, mustard, etc. in the door, and put everything else where it fits. Normally a domestic freezer is best set to minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or colder, as that's what the expiration dates for many food items are based on. It's also a requirement for freezers in restaurants, supermarkets and other places that sell food, at least here in Europe, to maintain a temperature of at most minus 18 degrees Celsius. A general purpose domestic fridge should be at around 1 to 4 degrees Celsius, so, just above the freezing point, and below 5 degrees Celsius. Normally it's not possible to set a fridge to 0 degrees Celsius, at least not over here, but sometimes the temperature sensor doesn't work as intended, especially if there is a freezer compartment that is heavily frosted. HTTP colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash refrigerator has some more info, and also lists some alternative temperatures for special purpose fridges and freezers, e.g. For fresh fruit a normal fridge is too cold. Some refrigerators are now divided into four zones to store different types of food, minus 18 degrees Celsius, minus 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit, freezer, 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, meats, 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, refrigerator, 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, vegetables.